morning, Lakeview students and staff. Welcome back to school. This is Principal Otterson. That is our assistant principal. Aubrey. How are you doing today, Aubrey? Good. Who would you bring with uh, you today to help you with announcements? My brother. Who, what's your brother's name? Gavin. How you doing, Gavin? Good. Looks like you're missing some teeth. Mm -hmm. How many teeth are you missing? Seven. Seven teeth. How can you even eat? I, I chew with my molars. You chew with your molars. <laughs> Can you chew everything, or is there some food you can't chew because of... I think I can chew about everything. Well, good. Man, I remember when I lost my teeth. Thankfully, I have them all back. Well, welcome. Nice to have you helping out your sister today. Can you tell us something interesting, an interesting fact about you? Um, I have a cat named Milo. You have a cat named Milo? Okay, tell us a little bit about your cat. Is he a nice cat, mean cat, hairy um, cat, skin... Only a if he doesn't cat. want to be hold, um, he usually scratches you or bites you. Oh, nice! That's if if nice. you're holding him and he and he doesn't want to be held. How do you know about this? Because you guys are we brother and brother sister. Brother and sister. Did we already say that? Yes. Oh, sorry. See, miss, I missed that part. Oh, that's right, because they're brother and sister. Well, good. Glad you're here. Today's Thursday, April twentieth. It is Cycle Day Five. We're talking about empathy this month. So can you two tell me about, have you seen anybody being empathetic somewhere? Yes. Where yes. did you see that? In the lunchroom. Where in the, what yeah, happened in the, in the lunchroom? Lun what happened in the lunchroom? So somebody dropped their tray when they were going to put their food away. And um, they another kid saw it that was close by. And so they went to come and help them put, it, put the food in the correct garbage cans and help them put everything away. So someone just walked up and helped them out mm -hmm. without being asked. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's being empathetic. Mm -hmm. How is that being empathetic? You're right. How is it being empathetic? Because maybe they could be like, oh, no, that might be embarrassing, or they might need help. Exactly. So, they, so like, they put themselves in their shoes. Right, and they're being kind, too. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a very good thing. So I'm glad you saw that. Did you see the same thing? Mm -hmm. Did you? Awesome. Lanyards today, you know what I got to do today what? during lunch? What? I got to help serve food. I, I made, saw you do uh -huh, yes, I made the, I made the french fries. Were they pretty delicious? Yes. And tater tots. Delicious. You know what I really appreciated when I was making food is most of the kids that came through the line, they were wearing their what? Lan Lan lanyards. So, yeah, and you two are. So, boys, girls, great job today. You really made that lunch line go a lot quicker. So, don't forget to wear your lanyards when you come into lunch. What's the voice level supposed to be like in our hallway? Zero. Zero. Every hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Even when you're standing, waiting to go into FIAD, when you come out of FIAD, when you come out of STEM, you come out of art, music, no matter where you are, you need to make sure you have a zero voice level. We're trying to be respectful to those of us around us that are trying to work. Oh, in Otter News, I've got something that a student taught me, something that uh, makes a lot of sense. Everyone is afraid of funny noises at night. Is that true? Or do you guys ever hear noises at night? Do you get a little freaked out about yes. that? Yes. If we heard them in the day and it wasn't dark, then we'd be like, oh, it's just a noise. It's kind of funny. But if we're sleeping and it's all dark, we're like, it's kind of, ooh, what is that? What is that? You get a little goosebumps. Yes. Yeah. And then if you have a dog like I do, your dog barks and then that wakes you up. You're like, what our is going on? Our cat meows. Your cat meows. Does yes. your cat bite you and scratch you then? Too? No. Oh. no. He like, he like makes Creeps this, over there, on seeing us. what's going on. Meow. Meow. Yes. Right? And then if there's someone there, you can chomp them with your chompers. No. Right? No, no, don't do that. That's not being bad, very empathetic, is it? Mm -hmm. Or being kind. No. All right, do you have a joke? Yes. Let's hear it. Why do all the math symbols need glasses? I don't know. Why do all the math symbols need glasses? To fix division. <sighs> to fix division. <laughs> Do -do Aubrey, that's pretty good. We are LVE Pride. We are positive, responsible, involved, determined, and equitable. I look forward to seeing your greatness today. Bye. 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 Hello, boys and girls. Today... Mr. Otterson and Mackenzie. We're going to show you how to wipe off tables and sweep some floors because that's going to be your job. All right. 
when you come into the lunch room, boys and girls, actually when you're sitting down, your uh, the recess staff is going to give you a towel. They're going to set it on your table. When you come into the into the cafeteria, you're already going to know who that person is. So whoever is the person that is supposed to wipe off the table when you leave, your job is to make sure you do that. The towel will already be wet. All you have to do is make sure that you cover the entire table when you're wiping it off. So make sure you're wiping off the entire table. Look at this mess. I'm going to actually wipe it to the floor because then my sweeper, who is Mackenzie, is going to show us how to do that. Now if I come to a big gloppy mess, boys and girls, I want to make sure that I clean it up, but then I go to the bucket, the water bucket, which is not going to be at your spots. You're going to rinse it back out and then go back and wipe off the table. Don't forget when you're done wiping off the table that you also have to wipe off the bench. So wipe a bench all the way down to the end. Again, there won't be a bucket of water there. And wipe off the table all the way to the other end. Voila, that is what I call a clean table. I'm going to show you boys and girls how to sweep up the floor. So Mackenzie, we show them how you go about yep. sweeping up the floor effectively. Mm -hmm. Now boys and girls, notice how she goes all the way underneath the table to get the garbage. So that's a pretty disgusting floor. And she's going to go collect it. She's going to put it in the bucket. And she's going to do that all the way around the table. Now Mackenzie, let's say that we're done. Okay, you're all done. What do you do with that, the garbage? She brings it all the way, the trash left. There it goes out the door. But she's <laughs> gonna bring it to the trash bin and throw it in there. Boys, girls, that's how you sweep the table. Nice job.